The Guelph permeameter is one of the tools available for measuring field saturated hydraulic conductivity, which can be used to calculate the design infiltration rate for low impact development projects. Make sure before you start any infiltration testing that you order underground utility locates from your local utility providers. Once all utilities are marked, you can break ground for infiltration testing. Map out your testing locations beforehand. They should be spread out evenly across the proposed LID location to help inform your design. You can use a shovel to remove grass and topsoil and expose the native soils. If the infiltration testing will be performed deeper than about one meter below surface, you may need to use mechanical equipment for digging. The Guelph permeameter can only extend to depths of approximately 75 centimeters below surface. A depth attachment can extend to 315 centimeters below surface, but note that it is very difficult to hand excavate an auger to that depth. Once the native soils are exposed, you need to hand auger a borehole. The Guelph permeameter comes with an auger kit and three extensions, a well prep brush, finishing tool or sizing auger, and an augering tool. Auger a hole to the desired testing depth. You can note soil characteristics from the extracted soil samples. Use the finishing tool after augering to make sure the borehole is exactly six centimeters in diameter. Your infiltration calculations will depend on this diameter. Use the well prep brush to remove smearing along the walls of the borehole caused by augering. Smeared soils may have a lower infiltration rate. You only need to lower and raise the prep brush once or twice. You don't want to knock too many sediments to the bottom of the borehole. Next, you can assemble the permeameter. It contains three sections, the upper section, body section, and lower section. Connect the lower air tube to the middle air tube using the metal coupling. Slide the lower support tube into the base of the reservoir in the middle section. Connect the upper air tube to the middle air tube using the other metal coupling. Slide the wellhead scale over the air tube and onto the top of the reservoir. Make sure the access tube is sealed using the clamping ring as shown. Also make sure that the upper air tube is pushed firmly downwards towards the reservoir. This will make sure that the bottom air tube is sealed against the base of the water outlet. Remove the reservoir plug and fill the reservoir with water. Use the reservoir valve to switch between using either the inner or both reservoirs for supplying water to the borehole. Turn the valve up to 12 o'clock to use both reservoirs. Turn the valve down to 6 o'clock to use the inner reservoir. The inner reservoir should be used if the soils are of low permeability. Place the assembled permeameter into the borehole. Make sure to keep the permeameter in an upright vertical position as best possible so that accurate readings can be taken. To start the test, slowly pull upwards on the upper air tube. This opens the seal at the base of the permeameter so water can start flowing into the borehole. Continue pulling upwards to bring the bottom of the well height indicator to a standard value, typically somewhere between 5 to 25 centimeters, on the wellhead scale. This value represents the constant head of water that is applied to the borehole. Take note of the value that you apply. Use a larger head if your soils are of low permeability. Have a stopwatch handy and begin timing as soon as you begin to pull upwards on the upper air tube. Note the elevation in the reservoir as indicated on the scale. This value will continue to drop as water leaves the reservoir and infiltrates through the base of the borehole. Take a reading at the start of the test and then again at regular intervals, say every one or two minutes. The lower your soil permeability, the more you'll have to spread out your reading intervals. Bring some data entry sheets to make it easy to record your readings. Continue taking readings until a steady state rate of fall is observed. This represents approximately saturated conditions and the steady state value is used to calculate the design infiltration rate. 
Repeat again using a different constant head value to perform a double head test if desired. The double head test can produce more accurate results, but doubles the time required for testing. Backfill any excavated areas before packing up the equipment. It's always a good idea to clean the equipment of any dirt and then dry it before putting it away. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you would like to learn more about the Guelph permeameter and other infiltration testing methods, please visit our website at sustainabletechnologies.ca.